everybody and welcome back to the Noodle Bowl. We are doing episode 2 of Life is Strange part 2. We are continuing with these boys. I'm not sure how many episodes there's going to be. I almost knocked the water over on my desk. I'm not sure how many episodes of this there are going to be. Um, it'll all depend on how far we can get <laughs> in this amount of time. But thank you guys for joining me again. And let's get this on started. It's morning. We're waking up. It's a beautiful sunny day. Hey Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Someone doesn't know how to pack his bag, it would appear. What, Mushroom? You wanna go out? You wanna go out? Okay, go get a mouse. Go get you some mice. So freaking cute. Alright, what? What's wrong? What sucks? So, so bad. What's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Wow. Okay, no more swearing. Seriously, sure. we talked about this yesterday. Like you're always polite. Yesterday we talked about Come on. About this. Chill out. What did you pack it's in? It's not fucking fit. Ah There's no what reason. The Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> I don't know if being strong has to do with being able to pack a bag efficiently, but I guess we'll find out. He's awesome. He's literally like jamming in there. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. There was like three things we had to fit in this bag, kid. Where's Mushroom? Still... Peeing, I guess. Oh no. I'm gonna check what she's up to. She's <sighs> okay, I'll fill Jasper up our bottles and I'll and catch it. up with you guys. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a grave error, I feel. I should not have let her outside. And I was thinking too, I was like, maybe I shouldn't let her outside until Daniel's there. Until I'm done helping Daniel. But she was so cute, she had to pee. She had to do a little peepers, so I wanted to let her out. I really hope that she's okay. I feel really bad if something happened to that. Okay, dog. all done. Where the hell is he? You out here? Daniel! Ah, I fucked up. I've made a grave error. Where is he? I might actually go look. Those some glossy ass eyes. I don't know what that is. We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. How do we fucking run? Daniel is nowhere to be seen. Call him out by cop Q. Daniel? Where are you? Canteen spoons, that's great. His inventory is full of all of these toys. Pouty boy. Few 
huge progress today. Stop the snowball motion and heavy rock. Daniel getting worse. No fever yet, but no food left. Leaving tomorrow for Beaver Creek. I really hope I didn't kill the dog. No. I have to find Daniel and I, Mushroom. No, I just didn't know if I could go that way or not, sir. Where's the fucking run button in this goddamn game? I can do a little dance, switch over my shoulders. What are they doing? We have to leave. Dude, what are you doing? So quiet. Daniel. What the heck and heck, bro? I know you can run, I just don't know what it is. Fuck. Where the hell are they? Hey, what are you up to? These are such weird things to shout at someone who's missing. Dude, seriously, what the fuck? There's like nowhere to go. What the front? Shut the front door! Where are they? There's nowhere else I can look. The area isn't that big. allowed to walk in. I saw them. Dude, what the, what the fork? Come on, Daniel, let's go. No. I have to find Daniel I and Mushroom. No, but where are they? I don't even see them. Like I don't have a big vast expanse of area to look look at. Stop messing around, man. Like, you think that if something was going wrong, I would at least have heard him scream something by now. And the fact that I don't know how to run is starting to cheese me off a little bit. Daniel, we don't have time for this! Daniel! Like, I can't get behind any of these areas. I literally only have a small space I can go into. Like, I can't go back there. I can't go over here. I've already looked literally everywhere. Oh 
no. That's not good. Daniel? It's a freaking bobcat! Daniel! Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Strength. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm a terrible person. Oh, my shroom! Oh, I hate when they when dogs die and anything makes me so sad. It's all right. I'm right here. Staying, we'd have two sources of meat. I wish I never let her out the door. I'm making all kinds of bad choices already, and it's just started. Welcome. Welcome to how I play choice-based games. Not well. Should have known better than to let her outside. Here. We're in the frickin' You should do it. Like woods. I should have known there are other animals out there. Just because she hadn't been gotten by one of them before previously up to that point doesn't mean that there wasn't wild animals out there, like bobcats and tigers and like tigers. Bobcats and like bears. Oh my. Is that it? Well, unless you want to say something. Oh, man. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. I fucked up. Life real bad. Never. Thank you, Mushroom, for looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven with Dad? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Yeah. I know I killed your dog, but nah. I'm sure he will look Let after Let me make her. you feel worse. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Nana. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean, I'm sorry I killed the cat. 
freaking eyes just like I don't know what I was thinking. For a second there. Sean, if only I could. I'm sorry. I know. Have a good time having Come an exercise. I need an exorcism. I'm a monster. It's taking control. I can't. I need an ah. That's what that looked like. His fucking eyes just literally just whited out. Wish we didn't have to go. The back of his head. I like having a house again. I liked having a dog Come on. before I murdered it. Let's hit the road. God. What my about my dad traps? Lives in uh, the woods. Should we leave them up? And they can't leave Don't protect their the next animals state. out for like one second unsupervised. So honestly, genuinely, Bye, Lord, you really should have known better than you look to after our dog out alone without watching where it was so going. Long. That's us. I thought that was random people in the woods. How does Bobcat mysteriously die? So, wow, well, this trip sure would be better with a dog. <laughs> so much more fun and less horrible, enjoyable of sorts, with a dog companion. Who was perhaps here moments ago and not dead. Boy, do I love my dog. I loved playing the fetch. My dog used to love sticks that looked like that. We had a dog, should be catching those squirrels. It's a good thing we don't have one of those, right? Pesky. Good lord. Ooh. Good thing you can play again and maybe not kill the dog this time i wonder how many ways there are to kill the dog in this episode that can't have been the only instance in which you can accidentally kill your dog there has to be at least three ways to kill your dog because you're like full sense of security number one like, oh, I'm not gonna let that dog out. Heck no. Heckin' no. And then it lives. And then you're like, okay, so now that I've avoided that, the dog can't die throughout the rest of these this episode. And then they give you an instance in which the dog could get hit by a, a train or a bus or something. And you're just like, wow, I've been duped. Duped by the game. See, if we had a dog, I couldn't carry you on my shoulder. Well, you could carry the dog, but we're not talking about that. Oh shit, we made it. Talking to a guy at a liquor store. Just like, hey, do you know where this thing is? Smell like dog shit. Uh, and he's just like, wow, you kids are definitely homeless, but I don't care. It's over that way.
this is how we got into this bowl. <sighs> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. I mean, you two look like garbage. You don't want to look so... like total pigs. Like, no offense, you've been walking for like days. You just look like garbage. And you probably smell like hot garbage, too. Though maybe they haven't been sweating that much. What if they went on vacation? Or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Oh my god, it's the neighbor! Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is oh that... Oh my god, it's the neighbor! Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! I never would have After expected that. After all this that. time. What the hell are you doing here? Steven, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Yeah, but what do you want us to do? I mean, do we look like that we've been in any kind of civilized environment for the past, I don't know, like, month? No. That must be nice. So, finally be in a warmer house. Some warm drinks. They, they didn't turn them away at the door. At least. They let them in. And that's the concerned neighbor of Captain Spirit next door. She's like, I don't hey, know about is how it, your dad uh, treats you. Is it warm enough for you? I'm oh yeah. Sure. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could age. have been worse. You were lucky. Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do? With Stephen. Mom? May I talk to you for a second? Can't exactly tell ya. How's the kid doing? Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. leaning in as if it's gonna help me listen to what they're saying. Feels so awkward to be here. Oh, they know we're wanted by the police. It's good to be for inside. Murder. Finally. They already know. They don't know what to do with us because they already know that we're... Did I make a mistake coming here? They already know that we're wanted for murder. I remember that. I think it used to be in the they know Living exactly room. what happened with us. Now they're trying to figure out who they can bring in, what they should do. Should they keep us? Should you they all not? Right, should honey? they turn us in? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, I want food. Well. I want lots of food. Sean, uh, I'm fucking starving. I you want to talk about... Uh, the police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as... A murderer. Suspects. In a homicide? There it is. And for assault and robbery in a gas station? Okay, that one now, was not my fault. If you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? 
That guy kidnapped me. Police officer in Seattle. He shot my no. dad. That's fucking bullshit. Shot my dad. I never touched the guy. Shot my you know, dad. Don't, don't get mad. Shot my Sean, dad. we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dad. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? Because do we look innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... <sighs> but nothing. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, yes, Sean. Yes, you can. Don't be the... <laughs> anyway, at least you like managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. Do you want help? What but I can't do everything. What am I talking about? Not even old enough to have a job? So? Really? I, do have, I did have a job. What are your plans? But how am I going to get one? Down to Mexico. Go down to Mexico? To Puerto Lobos? Dad has a family house there. Sean. You can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? Because we're from Puerto Lobos. You two are going to stay anywhere. with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Really? Let's get... Uh, aren't she you scared? She wants to turn this in. He's like, the police nah, already called you. Lord, yes. Take care of our grandchildren. We're also bit. scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. But cool, Grandpa. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! <laughs> like a royal. Ooh, Aurora. Sean! Guess what? The royal There's a Disney huge royal tree top. upstairs. Hey! <laughs> You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> Yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. At least. We'll see what happens next. And then I might kick you out. Your grandpa so won't, but I, I bet might. you're hungry. Let me fix you something. Twelve sandwiches on the double. You know when she says I'm gonna fix you something, it's gonna be like a full pot roast, some mashed potatoes, something else. She's gonna fill those boys up until they burst because that's what grandmas do. They literally make you eat too much and then you freaking explode. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah, feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. I like yeah. how it has a guest room tag on the guest I room. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. They wanted food. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except like the story comes from never fucking prayed. up there. <laughs> the ceiling. You've never prayed before. So are we They're ready to pray? Just house. follow my lead. Not for me, sorry. 
Sure. We're staying in their house. We need all the help we can get. Sure. Can you ask the bless dad? It's not for me, but sure, Grandma. Fill and me with Sean. your prayer. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. I wonder what would have happened uh, if we brought the dog here. Everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. I wake up to the police, Grandma. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. Thanks, Grandma. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. Mr. Nakon, the cops, Grandma. You're the best. Such a nice lady. Feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, it's like this, who gives a shit if I smell? Player seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. Steven's the one who allowed I us to stay. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. Claire was ready to toss us out into and the station. And the more important station. thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Uh, why? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? He's like, I want powers uh, too, bruh. I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though, and exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, remember the rules, right? Yeah, at least he hasn't got we any ghost We really don't want yet. Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. Creek, Oregon. One week later. They certainly look very acclimated. They have their own posters in here now. <laughs> There's shit all over the windowsill. <laughs> Oh, there's Legos, oh, and man. we have our own little toys. I could sleep all day long in the- We have our own little toys! This is the cutest!
Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, Jesus Christ, please. Our dice. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Yeah, they don't need to know where we've been. Dirty pajamas, my backpack, a door, a space yep. toy. Daniel knows how to milk grandma for toys. It's only been a week and we Good. already have a bunch of fucking toys. He deserves to be spoiled. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome. He's <laughs> doing a really good job. Earmuffs. Man. I see grandma fatten you up and fucking give you shit. What is this? A blanket? Yeah. And we still have our tent. Fuck, Danny went nuts. Scary. I need to teach him control. Quick. Gonna snap that thing's neck. Burning cold. Had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one's stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? Dan getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. Been hanging out with oh, Chris and uh, Claire and Claire and Steven a lot. Pretty awkward after all these years. They're walking on eggshells, not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant, elephant following us everywhere. Rude. <laughs> it's so cute. Aww. I like how he's drawing in the book too now. Oh my god. Reynolds rules. Discretion. Don't leave the house. Disconnection. No phone, no internet. Daily chores. <laughs> Homework for Daniel. La mau. Good luck with that, Claire. Bored af. Grateful for being here, but need to get out. Gotta think of what's next. Ain't no chill for the wicked. Is that what it says? Ain't no chill for the wicked. So fucking bored. Aww, he's starting to do colored stuff. That's with those colored pencils. I didn't. I uh, six thing. I don't know how many there actually is. Mount Jefferson. Look how far. Jesus. Gee, I really don't like that camera thing. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. Oh. My bad. I didn't see our clothes on the floor. All right. I'm allowed to go out now. That sounds intense, whatever the hell's happening out there. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Choo-choo! Dang. Oh, careful, Chief. This is so Going cool. Going too fast. We have to! We're late on schedule. We're yeah, late but we're going to scare the passengers away. All right. No need to push me out of the way. <laughs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. Um, it's okay. That's so cute. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. It will leave after breakfast. Promptly after breakfast. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Oh, is this their room? The fact that you even opened the door knowing it was their room is whack. Open? <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. That's probably our mom's room then. I kind of don't give a fuck. Wash your face, you dirty, dirty boy. Oh, man. Dirty asshole. 
How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Gotta hit the kitchen quick. Oh, there it is. Claire's waiting for us. I like how this doesn't have any load time between going up and down stairs. Playing games. Doodling. Oh my. Look who's awake. So, Good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> Daniel! Ooh, nice mm. Breakfast time. This. Your brother is ready. I want a cabin like this. Grandpa, like show when me I get older. Stop. Not like Stephen. Your grandson like... needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. But like, just when I get to a I love how they're getting place, along. I would love to have a wood cabin like this. It's so nice. I've always loved them. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> Sorry, love sharing his hobby with somebody. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. <laughs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Thanks, Grandma. Did I make enough? I love food. Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. I would love you're the best cook ever. And, and Looks like you're getting cozy I'm with so this hungry. new country life after all. Equate to Daniel. I. Yeah. Love it's nice to be far away I'm from everything. Hungry. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. Bless your heart. You'd get along your good with heart. our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. Yeah, he takes he it would just hard. get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. I think, because I don't know how old you are. I assume because of your short stature. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. Why am Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? Yeah, why don't you stop you asking questions? You sure look questions. like you're getting better. I, I literally Get some fresh air. So I'll wait for Sean. Much. My sister and always we'll asks the questions I we won't always be told her not to. Always, huh. all the time. But be careful nobody sees you. Always wanted to Stay in the back, okay? Don't ask okay? these questions. And two seconds later, she turns around and says the exact thing I just told her not to. Maybe you should tell him that it was something. Karen's room. And then, boom. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But 
his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Okay. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway. I don't know what the hell that camera thing was. You have but to okay. respect my rules under my roof. Okay? I mean, honestly, that's fair enough. Of course. <sighs> Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Like, I want to know. But now you at better the same go find time, your brother. Yeah, we're under her rules. She took us in. She could have called the cops on us. There's she a shed with some old toys us. outside. How bet Stephen has the key. Tanny will freak. Thank you. Like, honestly, you should just kind of respect the one, like, big rule that she has, which is don't ask her about her possibly dead daughter. I miss Dad and his silly <laughs> Santa gringo accent. But I always... Like, things like this, I always tell my sister, like, don't ask the people those questions that you're thinking about asking. Every time we go somewhere together, she always wants to ask people... Sorry for getting upset, like Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. It's... it's fine, really. We don't have to. She's like, who do you think is the older one? Do you think it's me or my sister? Who do you think's older? And I'm like, stop asking people this question. Like, you are literally setting yourself up for failure. You know exactly what they're hmm. going to say. think I need a handy stop assistant. Asking. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? And then sure. Hold on. Literally two seconds later, she's there asking. Whoa. Who do you think is the Careful. older one? Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Trying to kill me with uh, it, sorry. Grandpa? My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? Trying I'm to kill me, Grandpa. I'm going to talk for a second. Oh. Grandpa's trying to kill me. Uh, but it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. She's the younger one. Why I tell so, you that? listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Puberty. Um, not really. Like puberty? What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Hair? Like, some kind of invisible force, a, a holy gift or something. Um, yeah, Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Mm. Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here places. with us. I know you face. boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... I mean, honestly, how long is it going to take us to Puerto Rico? I know, Rico? being out here in what the sticks with us all there? farts isn't exciting, but... At least here we this have... This is your home now. Like... It's cool. A solid Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you Especially think back your father would have... Wanted this for his kids. You don't know. Of course him. not. He didn't say that. He knew that. But everything's ass, different now. Like I know. I know. No father wants that for their kids. Well, just think about it. But 
Don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. A cool grandpa. I feel like I could have told him. About and be careful powers. with that shed. So eventually, since Probably he wasn't going to say anything. Probably a mess inside. Thanks. He wasn't going to say anything to Claire about it. Seth! Sad. It's John good to see you in my that. lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Is that a Why? Make America no Great Again hat, but Grandpa? You're a big boy now. You can take a look around. Man, who did this? Oh, he was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I, I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, that kid sure has an imagination. <laughs> uh, uh. Does Grandpa have powers? Grandpa, are you hiding something? Grandpa, are you hiding something? Oh, he has a shark. That's our mom. It has to be our mom, right? Oh, you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's his daughter. It's been a while since I... have pictures of her around. ...seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does, but... She's still my daughter, you know. I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, uh, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm like, glad you Sorry, Sean. Please don't. Uh, uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this. Grandpa's okay? got a lot of secrets. Don't worry. I won't. How come you have a disco ball? Don't Are you like throwing that. parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir. This cool uh, shark. I actually met your grandma during a disco night. Believe it or not. For real? <laughs> That's so cool. She was such a good dancer. I bet she we was. We danced grandpa. the hustle, <laughs> and I, I knew I was gonna marry that woman. Aww. She knew the By hustle. the way, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds so very cute. <laughs> well, I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. I'm good, Grandpa. You don't gotta show me your, your mate and dance on the dance floor. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Nope. <sighs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally. I got yeah. you, Grandma. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, She's like, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, I'm busy. Yeah, busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. Hmm. Oh. oh. Dang it. Bed. Boo. But an arm just reaches out, snags him. He's throwing me off his trail. He moved that with his powers. He better not be in that fucking room. See, he's just moving shit. I, I know you're in there. His powers. Gotcha. Make me think that what he's the? in there. Behind you. See. Yeah. 
very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Stop using your okay, okay. powers all over the place. What do I have to do? Grandpa you tidy has... the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. Yeah, because that's part of what yeah, you have to I do. Hear you. No one wants Never to clean. Mind, okay. Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right, let's get it over with. No one wants to fucking do the laundry. No one wants to clean rooms. No one wants to do any of that shit. It's just something you gotta do. Instead of doing the dumb shit that you're doing, which is just fucking around in the room. All right, time to take care of that laundry. Okay, but where's the laundry room? Thanks. Of the toilet. I'm gonna kill you, small child. Get out of my way. Sean, quick! Look at this fish! No. In here? Beautiful. It's dark. There we go. Ha ha! Nope. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors, ever. Use one cup of detergent, the red box, for each load. If you wash my clothes, you use the delicate cycle. So you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, the wife. I mean, it's nice for her to leave him a note, because can't, then you can't just be like, Oh, I didn't know how to do it. I couldn't remember. How many programs does this thing have? Like six. I hate okay. Those, I hate those washers. It will do. There's like 700 fucking different cycles. And we switch the lights off because we're polite. What's in this door? Storage. Mm. Mm, food. All right, let's go clean the room and then we can go play outside. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Hey, Daniel. No, 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 no. Show me the fish. Easy. Just watch. Oh, no. Yeah, just because I can use my powers doesn't mean I should. Well, just because I can use Daniel's See? powers doesn't mean I should. Hello, little guy. You're going to crush him. Whoa. He's beautiful. I wish it would stop doing that with the camera. No, no one using their powers out here, Grandpa. No Holy Spirit to be seen. Mm -mm. Boring laundry. Done. Mess. Time for fresh air. Tidy. <sighs> Gotta tidy the mess. We can't make Grandma upset. She feeds us. Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. Of course not. But next time you bail on me. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. This is pretty good so far. Inherent might. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, okay. Hmm. Man. I miss that dirty little dog. I do too. So much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. Yeah, but we're going outside now. Is that like a jacket? Put on a jacket? I... What? What was that dialogue option? It's gone, without a trace. Just See you tonight, buddy. Like a freaking tornado. Oh, we should have taught them our pirate game. That would have been really cute. Do you want to? Do you want to learn our pirate game? It's fun. Daniel cheats. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Nobody does, but that's okay because we have this. He's doing something. It's better than nothing. How the 
frack do we get out of here? Oh, he's got Choco Crisps! <sighs> yeah. Hiding Pretty different from the one we had back at home. Hug grandparents. Like, three things. Big straw. <laughs> he never... Everything else. Claire's like, I will literally do everything. You freaking bozos just do these couple things. Decoration. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Let's go. Let's okay. Go Time to burn off some calories. Time to what do you say? Haha. <laughs> yes. Oh! 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 <laughs> this sounds like dogs. I don't know why all of a sudden I can't hear his brother. I don't know where he went. This place is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Sean, look! So he thinks he has powers, but it wasn't even him. Uh, <clears throat> did you see that? Yeah, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. Wow, I did not expect that twist. That I thought they were both going to have powers. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have wow. the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. I'm like, blown dude, away right that's now. so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad. I'm fine. Are you gonna sober I up, Daddy -o? Are you sure? Listen, this I shouldn't. What happened if you were sober, Dad? Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. His dad's like, I don't know what that means. Hey it's there. Hello, Are you children. staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. I hungry, I dad. There are grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. I like how Let's we get you Adam. inside. I, you don't have any uh, damn shoes, boy. Yeah. I'm sorry, though. Okay, Dad. Sorry, Thanks, guys. Oh, and uh, I don't have any if shoes Claire on asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it? Is it? Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Oh, he has slippers on. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Literally today he has broken everything. Do you want the me to let him fall? Had. Really? No. But Grandpa already knows about the rules. I didn't want him to fall, but... Like... You gotta stop showing your powers everywhere. 
I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be really worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, like Daniel. Steven kid. already Doesn't saw you using your powers. His, don't do any of his Fine. I'll be careful. Our rules. I'll never help anybody again. Okay, that's not what I okay. said. Okay. Daniel. Remember that we're study. hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you, help you anybody. stick with remember, me. I said all if it was the last the thing you could okay? do, but you didn't remember any of the rules. <laughs> you used the powers in the freaking living room today in front of my grandma. Man. Freaking just chill. That's all I'm saying. Chill a little bit. Just a little bit. That's a way to sleep. Oh, it's his butt. I thought it was like his front and he was just like sprawled. Oh no. Oh, fuck. That kitten never listens. Nope. Like how he took the time to write us a Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. I just don't want to get found out. Like, I'm not saying you can't help people. I'm just, like, that sucks that that's what you took from that, but... Not what I meant at all. I just needed to reiterate the point of the rules because you haven't been following them all day. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Hello? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Let's have a party. Let's have a masturbato session. Oh. Right. Going through Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Tree. The tree's up. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. I was night. wondering if it had already been Christmas or if it had been Daniel loved it. Now we know. Oh, what is that? That was a disco? Oh, that's cute. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. There's a note on the door. Well, Morning, I heads. guess they won't be back we for let you sleep in today at least two hours. Church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma and Grandpa. P.S. The Christmas tree is perfect. Good job, kids. P.S.S. Thank you for tidying up a bit. You're so welcome. Maybe I could welcome. use Steven's laptop. Why? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Nah, we're not gonna use the laptop. Because we just told our brother about the rules and now you wanna break your own? The other rules? Nah, we're not gonna do it. Absolutely not. I don't care how <laughs> stupid... No. No. We could make this a bad, bad playthrough since things have already gone terribly wrong. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Let's get this brack back home now. Here. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. That's what I'm saying. Why doesn't he listen? That's a little and I thought Daniel though. was the crafty one. The one where you went in 16 different ways, even though it's a one way tunnel. Excuse me. What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I you know saw you me did. Today, bro. I was you saw flying. Me floating yesterday, I can move bro. things. You saw me floating Objects yesterday, bro. With my mind. Oh. Superpower. 
Really? I've yes. things with my freaking mind, bruh. Irresponsible. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. He's gonna remember but that's that my secret did. identity, Why is so you can't Chris tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be I know he's super lonely, wolf. And he wanted... You know, someone his age to hang out with, but... What's your super name, Sean? Don't need one. Professor Diaz. The Silver Runner? Why? Why Silver Runner? It's because you're not the Golden Runner? He's not the best runner. He's the Silver Runner. He's okay. El Diablo's Bloco! I don't know. Something cool like... El Diablo Loco. Mm. Get it? Sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Oh, where's Dad taking us? Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh yeah, you saw uh, sorry, me man. Yesterday. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a yesterday? dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The the team yeah, has been waiting too team. long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Let's leave a note. Yeah, let's leave a note. They were be well, bad. they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean, I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please, please. Please? <sighs> okay, you win. Yeah, Not a fair fight. Those things that we were gonna go to so anyway. let's go. <laughs> yes! They're like, yeah! Confirmation. See? We're only gonna be on for an hour. Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. You'll see my comic books in the bathroom. I'm glad you're coming to too. Hey, stuff. you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? No, Let's see. Because every time I guess, I get it wrong. Uh, oh, Jesus. He's a hero. I remember... Look closely. This one's a villain. That's obviously a hero. He's a pirate. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Okay. How did I do? You're not... A very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. Another this is Team set. Spirit, the good oh, guys. The on There's the, the, the team. forest warrior, power bear, more T Rex, and Sky Pirate. I couldn't remember. So, that. who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. Oh, There's yeah. also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid. Who's the real supervillain? So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. 
but Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. I forgot yeah. that they were trying to Strength in numbers. That weird little Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah. Well. About that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's, He's like, worried he about out. other stuff anyway. He freaks out about literally everything. Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well... I can understand that. But I hope you know... You're not alone. Does Thanks, everyone Sean. takes that kind of stuff differently? But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. Ah, so cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey, pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. See, read comics for the mass dumpage. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. He really doesn't grasp the severity of the situation. And honestly, that's not too surprising because he is so young and he's a child. But, like, at the same time, he's already seen some shit. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Listen Dude, to me closely. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. That's fine, but you gotta be careful. Ugh. There's just so many things that could go wrong with both of these sides. If you tell him that he's the one with powers, then something could happen. If you protect the secret, then Chris could get hurt. I know, man. 
But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Yeah. Or he could get hurt. Yeah, so you want me to saying. tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. I know he just wants to have but friends, don't forget but what I said. We have to be careful. This isn't a game, bro. Wow. So many slushy. trees. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Behold, the giant condom machine. Don't worry, I'll be around. Giant condom machine. Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Uh, nothing. Like a Michelin tire. I'll man. tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Keep forgetting about the camera. Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. <laughs> Is that a wit? Nuts! Get it! What do I want? Find Daniel a Christmas present. Not even close to what I was going to do. What about this one? I can't even hear them. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Well, he's still busy. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Letters. Please explain this hot mess. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. Steel. Whoa. The guy who painted that, he must have been seriously high. How much money do I have? $15. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Thanks, dude. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Whoa, you got cider, my dude? I miss Dad's oh, Christmas at all. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. So literally the only thing to do is fucking steal yo-yo. Because none of those other things are good. We'll eat for food. Oh, damn. <laughs> she looks so out of place here. Cool. She's got, she's the, the white girl with dreads.
She's got bottle caps in her fucking hair, dude. It's me, it's me. You've come to take my duality. You made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No, what? Uh, um, no, I. Southern ass. I mean, <laughs> it was pretty cool. I, I just. <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. Southern ass. <laughs> you have a great voice. Uh, you should be on one of those singing shows that's kind of nice not really my thing though i hate tv show business shit well thanks for the music and good luck see ya see you around happy girl hey you have anything else to say yo hey miss me already <laughs> what uh, what? No, I mean... What? I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat Get for a God. change. Me and my man. friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <sighs> now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Dangerous. Man, that sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. I like how it makes it give you free an opportunity and to so make like, have, fucking like a fun. Wet blanket or like this. Like, well, a, unless a you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> and you get to oh, see boy. so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> like, Stoner break. I don't get Not how, even close. I don't get how people we can, actually got work over that. there. Sean, like what are you doing? From place to place We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Who are you? Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. His I, brother's better with girls than he is. I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you oh, make? Oh, that was the guy we saw earlier. You ready? Hello, pups. Pups. 
Oh, is that your doggy? So Aww. cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Like how they... She looks too, never too careful. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, Jesus. no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. Man. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss cute. Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. Oh, no! An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You boy. punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Okay. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. Damn. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Damn. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? He's like, I hate children. I don't know why he yelled like that. Because they look like dirty. Should we do hey. something about it? No, we should not. Nope, dropping it. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. This guy looks like if we did something, I already- They're pretty. I'm about to steal a yo-yo, so. I need you to get out of my way, boy. Whoa. <laughs> the pain of that must have, must have been, been seriously high. Drunk high, same thing, right? So cool. How do I let Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. <sighs> Man, it would have been cool, so cool Arby. to have one of these before coming here. Yeah, it would have been. That guy is just like hawking now. I, I know it sucks, but Daniel deserves it too. I'm I, a bad boy. Shit was dumb. It's nice to leave the house to after being it. locked up the whole week. I would have paid for it if that person was there for me to pay for it. Airspray. What's up, man? All these small time vendors stick together, though. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. Yes. That's what I thought. He's probably happy to see his son happy again. His son always hangs out by himself outside.
hope I didn't fuck up those answers too bad to that vendor guy. And I hope our grandparents aren't gonna be pissed. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Oh. Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. All I do is drink. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Claire's hard. My mom left. We're talking about them. They're so nice, but... Yeah. They have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Kathy's spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. That's cute. This isn't gonna be cute, though. Hello? Hello? We didn't even leave a note or anything. We just left. Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well... At least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? No. Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. That's so cool. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. No. Upstairs. No! I know it's mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. That's the one. They will rule. freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell the them. Internet. We'll be in total stealth mode. I didn't even use the fucking They won't know yet. anything if we make it nope. quick. It's just... Not happening. I really want to know what's inside. Nope. Just what kind of stuff she had. Nope. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Because he steals stuff. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. 
so you don't make a mess and get us caught. What does it matter if I said no then? Can I just go back into our room? Doors to locked. Yeah. I just don't get why they locked the room. We'll find a way to open it. Sean. This is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? This is a terrible idea. Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Just a terrible idea. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. They look so cute. Oh, man. He looks so different. Kept the same haircut. So young. <sighs> Karen hated oh, collecting those. trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Yeah, no. Not in there. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Nope. Doodles. This one Clothes, also just falls on top of us. So old stuff. <sighs> Definitely no hidden key. Sean, we... Shut up, dude. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school I pop like rock Steven music. In there. I have an American dream. Yeah. Not much to see in here. <sighs> Locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Possible. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Uh, Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. I don't like this. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Yeah. Are these milk teeth? Not sure if it's gross or cute, <sighs> but still, no key here. Okay, can I put that other key back? <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? I know what my objective is. I just want to put that other key back. I don't want to keep it on my person. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Right? That's so cute. Still super cute, though. They're gonna come back, like, as soon as I fucking find this. I like how I can close the door, but I can't put that key back. Yep, it's empty. Damn it. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Oh my god. No. Yes, I know I can break oh, the door. Gotta find a way to open that door. I thought maybe it was downstairs. And Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. There was a key in there. I found one key, so... It better fit. 
Let's try it. I'm glad that I found the key and you didn't have to bust it open. So that's a good way for us wow. to get in trouble. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left? I don't know, Anano. I wish I could answer that. Okay. They want to forget anything related to Karen. I knew better, my dude. I'm sorry. I'm just reading comics in the freaking room. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Nope, I'm not playing anything. I don't even want to, like, look Guess at anything. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, Xavier's Karen else. was already looking for an exit. <laughs> Guess the no phone rule That's wasn't such a out. thing back then. No. I don't know. I don't think she used any per... <laughs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Dear Karen, thank you so much for your letter. I thought you might have forgot your pen pal. It's so boring out here and your letters are the best thing ever. You were saying you get very lonely too sometimes up here in Beaver Creek, so I'm glad we found each other. It's funny, not, that I have this big family and I'm so jealous of you for being an only child. You get the whole house to yourself like a queen. Like a queen. All girls are queens. I told you before how my stupid brother Keaton is such an immature boy, even though he's just the oldest of all my siblings. He thinks he's so cool now just because he has a driver's license. Psh, whatever. Just wait till I can drive, and then we can finally visit each other. I hear my dad yelling about something, so I gotta bail before it gets on me. Please write back soon, and I'll write as soon as you do. Your favorite pen pal, Emma. Oh. Queen. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> These pictures are so... random. They remove all the pictures. Because they made them sad. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. The Green Choir. I hear the Green Choir singing in the forest in the ancient gray, wrapping me in their green in their wood spell, their song, the roots like fuses that explode in reverse. When I hide in my heart hearing that sound, that makes me feel older than the forest, older than you, but younger than the crying river at my feet. If I slid into the soil, would the voices muffle like my face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there? I could sneak in through the wormholes, but that would only lead down. So over the treetops, over the river, I feel myself leaving forever. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. Never. They Dad looked died. happy. He got murdered though. He didn't just leave. How could you send all of this to hell? I've never seen any picture of mom in our home. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. Creepy. You... Ulysses? Hey, Daniel. Check this out. He's gonna steal this thing. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. That's so cool. jocking me out of the way, bro. Hi, Ulysses. It's like... She almost never used those. No. Oh my god. Is 
Is that an amethyst? So there is. <gasps> she was into new age home. bullshit. I hope she took good care of you. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. Yikes. I don't recognize any of these games. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. This playlist is boring as hell. I wonder my mom loved it so much. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. That's weird. Why can't I look at the roller skates? I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. Why can't I look at the roller skates? I think it's not plugged. Cool. Now let's leave. Wait, is that letter under the bear? These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is her daughter still alive? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out wow. in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She wow. cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Mm. Well, is that all you have to say? Claire, I please. didn't even push it. Calm it just down. did it. No, Stephen. didn't even say they sorry. They went way out of line here. Oh, dear. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There's nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. No, she didn't say what? that. You didn't even tell us. Yeah, she didn't say that she wants to see us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. <laughs> Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. 
and, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are this just going to change around no. here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this oh, oh, no. goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! Oh, no. no, stop! Oh, okay. My legs! Nope, I'm sorry, we have to do it. I'm not gonna let Steven get hurt. Do it! Come on! Steven is a, is a fuck do, dope ass dude. Just fuck Do it, do Daniel! It. Now! Do what? What's going on? Get out of the way, Grandma! Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Sorry, Grandma. But I'm not gonna let Grandpa get crushed! <gasps> oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. Everything's like clipping and like breaking now. <gasps> it's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, <gasps> Grandma. Oh! We know who's in here. They were spotted at the Christmas market. Steven, Claire, Sean, Daniel, and Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. Oh, no, no way. See, this is why I didn't want to come to the market. The house. That makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel. I'm not crying. You're crying. Fuck you. A second. Here, this is your cape. 
You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go. Take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway. Before he did something... dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean... Floating bag. I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. I don't remember no one will tell us what to do. Letter. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. No, I don't know if that Early was Christmas is dogs. the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Oh, we're Listen. gonna jump the There's tracks, a ride. boy! Come on. All we're aboard. gonna jump the tracks, boy. We're gonna get on that train. It looks like we're gonna see Cassidy earlier than we thought we were going to, boys. Gotta find a way to get on there. Here we go. Probably 
probably not the best cart to get on, but what are you going to do when they're not stopped? Oh, man. So what is the next episode going to be called, like, Tracks? Or, like, rail Railways? Oh, man. That was a good episode. That was a really good episode. No choices to compare with. You didn't help with extra charts, 100%. You threw a snowball at Daniel and Mushroom. What? 100% all did that. You threw the snowball properly. No one prayed. Uh, I don't know where all of these percentages are coming from, but yeah. Oh, I wanted to save Snowball. It's because I don't have any friends on Steam to compare my shit to. Experience the monos. So... This is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. We're working in a, in a weed plant. Come on. Hey! I'll show you around. We are. And look, we found Cassidy. Oh, snap, man. Oh, hells yes. Alright, well this ends the entirety of episode 2 of Life is Strange. Thank you so much for joining me for the end of this, guys. I can't wait until this next episode comes out. Hopefully it's not as long of a wait between this episode and the next episode, like the first and the second one were. But, you know, it was, it was, it felt worth the wait, honestly. It was, it was a really well done episode. I really liked it. I'm excited to see what the other choices could have been, um, which I'll have to see about. Hopefully save Mushroom and not have Mushroom die. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me. I can't wait to see you with the next game that we play. I'm trying to get out some Resident Evil here soon, and I'm trying to also get out some more Hollow Knight, like I always say. I think I'm going to do a stream uh, later, and I will see you guys for that if you decide to join me. Have a nice night. Thank you so much for joining me on the Noodle Bowl, and I'll see y'all next time.